Okay, good morning. Mikkel here from expatmoneyshow.com. This is day two of house hunting. And what we're going to do today is going to go look at three different places. The first one we're going to go look at is not even complete yet. It's still being built. So I guess it's not exactly on spec because the, the building is there, but the apartment is not finished. Then secondary, we're going to go, or on the, the next one, we're going to go on the secondary market and look at a new apartment but previously owned. The guy's actually going to be there from my understanding. And then the third one we're going to go look at today is going to be a house. So if you want to see more about the real estate market here in Brazil and specifically in Florianopolis, then check out today's video. Okay, we're here at another apartment to view. Um, it is behind us right here and I think it's going to be really nice. Let's go take a look. So we just viewed the place. It is quite nice. I mean, it's absolutely brand new. They don't even have the sinks or anything like that, let alone the kitchen or air conditioning units or anything like that. But um, the backyard is nice. There's like a little bit of a patio. Uh, we're on the patio here and then there's a garden and a park here. She said this will not be developed, although there's a ton of construction going on in the background, as you can see. So it will be loud for a little bit, but there's soundproof glass, so I think it should be okay. Okay, so we just finished viewing the apartment. It's quite nice. So just a couple of numbers for you guys so you understand. So it was 1.39 million reales, reales, which is, what's that? About maybe 230,000 US, something around that. I'm gonna take a guess. And the condo fees were 650 reales a month. That includes water and gas. And the electricity, she said, should work out to be about 250. So really affordable. 250 reales is probably about $45. So very, very little. And then you're gonna look at property taxes of 1800 a month, which is about $350. Once again, I'm very, very rough math. Uh, on this but it is a nice area as you can see there's a lot of development here and a lot of nature a lot of parks and we're probably a little bit further away from the beach than the other place maybe 10 minute walk away from the beach on this one so it's pretty good um, we'll see we're on our way to go view another place right now so let's go take a look okay so we are here at the other one and it's actually really close to where we just were I also told you guys that it would be about 10, a little bit further away from the beach. Actually, this one's really close. The beach is like maybe a two minute walk. Let's see if we can point you down there. Just down that way is the beach. So, I mean, what's that? A couple hundred meters and you're at the beach. But we're gonna go look at another three bedroom here and let's do it.
Okay, so we just finished viewing it. This is a little bit different because although it is a new place, it's already been inhabited by someone. And I can probably see why they're trying to get rid of it. It's because there is a ton of construction going on all around this building, so it must be very loud. They did tell us that the glass is soundproof, but I'm a little bit hesitant. But you can see the place, it's just up here. We're just in the park right next to it, so it's quite nice. And just a couple of numbers for you so you have an understanding of what you can expect in this area. And once again, this is the nicest, richest part of Florifa, and the location is out of this world. I mean, we're gonna go visit the beach next and you'll see how close it is. It is just so stunning. So this place is 1.5 million reales, which is just under th about 300,000 US dollars. And then you're gonna look at the condo fees being at 780 reales, and the property taxes will be about 1,900 reales. It's pretty good for a 112 meter squared apartment, uh, furnished, fully done. But um, like I said, this area is amazing, but there's just so much construction going on at the moment. So if you can be patient for the next couple of years, you'll probably be doing really, really well. But uh, yeah, let's go check out the beach. Okay, so we are done with looking at apartments. We're gonna check out some houses next and see how this goes. So the place behind me is where we're gonna go. And I think we're about a minute to two minutes from the main drag and probably about three or four minutes from the beach. So the location is just phenomenal here. And if you look at it, it's a pretty modern place. I'm excited, let's go take a look. So we just finished viewing the house. Now, this is the first house that we've gone to on our shopping spree here. We've been mostly looking at condos and apartments, and that's really because we wanna be able to rent the place out on Airbnb for part of the year, and then live here for three or four months. So a little bit of the security and things like that, we really prepare and prefer to have uh, an apartment or a condo, something like that. But we thought we'd take a look at the houses and see as well. So this place behind me is the one we just viewed and it is very beautiful. The owners did a wonderful job. They bought this place in September of last year and have kind of fixed up the entire place, moved around some walls, changed windows, the doors, a ton of things. They did a ton of work on this place and it really shows. They did a wonderful job. So just some numbers for this place. It's coming in at 2.8 million reales. So it's certainly more expensive than the condos, but you get what you pay for. And the lawn, the, the yard is quite a, a good size and it definitely has room for a pool. Obviously there's not gonna be any condo fees, but the taxes are quite reasonable. It's, well, reasonable, you know me in taxes, but uh, it comes out about 2,000 yalas a year. So it's okay. I mean, certainly better than you're gonna find in the United States or Canada. Um, the place is huge though. I mean, two point, uh, 293 square meters. So it's a massive place. And uh, the electricity is actually quite low. It's only 270 reales a month. And that's because they put a solar system in for heating the water. And it's a four bedroom that are all en suites. 
and then add to that there's another bedroom that he's turned into an office but technically it could be used as a as another bedroom the only problem is that it's not an ensuite but on the second floor there is a communal bathroom with a shower so you could use that one and basically have that as a shared bathroom uh, with one of the other bedrooms so big place very beautiful all brand new uh, fixtures um, big kitchen, big backyard, room for a pool, um, and the area is amazing. It's going to be about 10 minute walk to the beach and about five minutes to all the shops and the cafes. So once again, the location in this area is just out of this world. Um, it's a lot quieter here than some of the other places that we've been. So you don't have a lot of worry about the construction. It's a fully developed suburb uh, neighborhood. So, I mean, you can hear us right now. There's just nothing. There's no cars. I mean, there's no construction, there's no nothing. It's just nice, peaceful life. Okay, that's it. End of day two, shopping for real estate. Hopefully next week we will go and view some other places, but learned even more and got to see a bunch of places today. So I'm really excited with that. Um, a bit of variety with the different types of places, new builds, second market, uh, secondary market houses, everything. So if you guys want to find out more, make sure you subscribe to the podcast at expatmoneyshow.com. Otherwise, check the description below and I'll have some links for you there. Okay, I'll talk to you soon.